So, Thermal Take have sent over the Ring Trio uh, fan kit. Now, this is obviously the new range. It is premium. It does work with uh, Razer Chrome's new software, but it's still in the works of updating the software. Works Amazon Alexa, works with Thermal Take's app as well. And uh, to get the Thermal Take Alexa app to work on Alexa via having these fans in your case, you just go to the Amazon link and then um, you download it and then you uh, or set up a new account with username and password and you go into the Fumble Take account and put that username and password in or if you've got one already then you can use that and then it's set up and then you can use Amazon to, co uh, to correct or not to co well yeah correct the the, um, the fan curves if they're a little bit too loud and stuff like that or you can change the lighting or you can show a little party trick to your friends when they come in and say hello TT or hello um, Nvidia and all that sort of stuff and it changes colours and it all flashes and it all looks really cool for Amazon um, Link or Amazon Alexa actually or Amazon Link and Alexa anyway these are the Ring Trio 12 uh, RGB fans painted by uh, Fumble Tape themselves this has got a trio of 30 color LEDs it's got LEDs inside the middle bit LEDs on the outside and LEDs on the back so if you're connected to a radiator and using it as uh, the front um, uh, intake then um, obviously you can turn it around, you still see the RGBs as normal, they look pretty sick, I've had them out the box ready. And as you can see, it's, well you can't really probably see from there, but I'll, I'll just get out the box and I'll show you. Um, obviously the software is pretty decent with this, because I've been using it. The only thing I had a problem with is um, obviously the app, it needs to be more updated and um, more user friendly because it's in a different language and then it's just got loads of like things that are a little bit buggy sometimes with uh, the fans not the fans the um, software that's on the app on the phone but last time i used it it worked really well it, and i found that like little hidden easter eggs and it was like pretty decent anyway i do like uh, the initial way that this box opens i know like oh it's just a box whatever but um yeah so basically you slip slip the uh, sides off with one of these nice and then you just open it up like so. And then you've got a tap, which is decent because every other film will take box is just rubbish compared to this. So empty box, everything, all the content is out. Then you've got this box as well. And it's got all the cables and screws in there and warranty and instructions and a do not connect the film will take product to uh, other film will take products. Like, I mean, it's talking about these boxes. This box is for these fans only. Do not try to put your other phone will take a controller box in to connect with this or to use them because it will just probably damage your um, product. So you can only use this phone will take to go with these fans and that's it. But you can have 16 that go up to it. This has got a dip switch on the back and there's 16 different combinations of connecting the boxes all together. So they register through the software. And once you do that, then you can definitely have your fans working in sync uh, with all the RGBs going off all day long. It's pretty amazing if you're into RGBs. If you're not and you're into the performance, this is great as well because these fans are high performance. And these are PWM fans, so they're 120s that I've got here. The cable is also decent length as well. So if you're gonna put it in one of these massive cases, you will always know that you've got plenty of length to go with it. So this is probably about 70 to 80 centimeters of cable. They have their own USB connection and you plug them in like so and you can plug in only five fans each do not attempt to go over the top with plugging in different fun will take products because it won't work or if it does work it might damage it it might be a different voltage not too sure but um i've noticed that other uh, motherboard companies that are coming out started off the leds or rgbs at 12 volts and now it's at 5 volts so you can't use a 12 volt cable with a 5 volt motherboard not enough power and it will just end up ruining your warranty and you'll just get annoyed and you won't want to buy products anymore because it's just annoying i'm pretty annoyed with it so i don't know why they've gone from 12 to 5 anyway but yes you plug them in into like the via the usb connection so it'll be the same usb that's on your computer which is usb 2 not USB 3, it will definitely plug in no problem whatsoever. So I'm just setting this all up right now. The cables are really nice, uh, thick insulated cables. Um, I think they're just decent. They look like and they feel like premium cables. And that's what we want, we want premium cables. 
So on the back as well, it's got the markings. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. So that's why I've got mine in already, so I can sync it all into sync. And I'll know that one fan, I'll know where to position it in, or position three or two. Or it depends. If you've got five in there, you know where to position it. It does come with Velcro as well, and it comes with 12 screws. So you get 12 normal screws that you normally get on the back of exhaust fans. Uh, that's normally screwed straight into the back of the case. And it also comes with four uh, radiator fans in each bag. So equating to 12 all together. So these are nice, decent, long screws. They're Phillips screws and that. And then you've got these ones which literally cut into the plastic. So you don't use it for metal. This is what I was saying. It normally just goes into the back um, of the exhaust fans. And that's what they normally do. But you get 12 screws all together. So 12 small ones and 12 big ones. So you've got four of each. Then you get like um, thermal pads with uh, 3M adhesive on the back. So you can definitely keep it stuck down. 3M, uh, not a company to be messed with. They can stick you to their walls if you, if you really want to choose to do that. <laughs> they got Velcro anyway that's included as well. If you don't want to stick it to your case and it's not going to be a permanent solution. You got the soft bit here and then the harder Velcro bit here. And uh, it's pretty decent, pretty strong. So I'll stick that out of the way. And then you've got these cables as well. And they include three cables. So one is obviously for power, which is a Molex connector. And then this obviously connects in to the box this side. If I can get it in there. That goes in here and it just locks down and it's right close to the dip switch. So at the moment, in default mode, one, two, three, four is all, so it's in default mode as one. And then obviously you can change it to one, to three, to four, to um, five, and five to one, and one to two, and two to one, all in 16 different combinations of the dip switch when you connect to other controllers. Talking about other controllers, we do have a connector here via USB and micro USB as well. And it's a nice decent length cable. So this will actually plug into this controller here via micro USB. And the other one will connect to the other controller, exact controller like this. So this is the actual thermal take trio uh, controller. So you need one of these and it's slightly different because it's got a dip in the in actual um, thermal take like box, the controller box. This micro USB or mini USB goes into another controller box like this. It needs to be exactly the same. And then you can connect this USB straight into the motherboard. So make sure you've got USB 2 output. And then obviously the controller box will work as well. For the fans, it's to control the software and everything like that and give it the drivers to know what they're doing. And um, obviously this is a power, so it doesn't do anything else, but just power the box and make sure everything's stable at the voltage that it's meant to be. So this cable here is the bridge connector. So it's got a micro USB cable and it's a very small cable anyway. It's about 10 centimeters long. And if you want to connect more bridge uh, boxes like this or more um, controllers, then you would need to use that cable as well to plug it in. And then you won't need the USB because the USB is already connected via micro USB connected to this controller box. So that's how it all works. And that just basically connects into the side here and then you just get another box like this and then connect it up via micro USB. So everything's micro USB or USB 2 and Molex. It would be nice to see SATA connection as it's a thinner uh, connection uh, for power rather than having um, Molex. Molex is just a mission. It just, these pins, there's four pins that take ages to get in on there. But anyway, you can stick your 3M stickers to the back of the box, which will obviously, you've got to remember which one's one, two, three, and four, and five, but you'll obviously know that through the software, but then it's a bit of a ball wake if you've got it stuck there, so it's best not to. Anyway, you've got two other cables that come up the top there, so if you imagine that the cables are all situated like this inside your case, so this is the side of your case, and you've got cables coming down, you've got enough long cables to route through the actual channeling of grommet holes and stuff like that, but then you've got two at the top there, so some people want to write it down and go with the 24 pin and hold it all together. Um, sometimes it might be a little bit awkward, but it depends on the case and the manufacturer that you're gonna be using these with. Anyway, enough talking. Just remember, you can't actually connect these to other thermal take um, controller boxes. It has to be this controller box. Um, 
and that's it really. So let's just plug it in and uh, get the RGBs going on uh, because I'm sure it's going to be a bit of a wow factor right now. As you can see, this is RGB madness. Now the software does not work because I think this is too early, but if you check out my other videos on Film will Take with the RGB lights, it does actually work really well off the phone. And it needed a bit of updating, but it still worked really well. But this one doesn't even come up in um, the, the app software. So yeah, the normal tape's gonna have to fix that. But anyway, um, let's just get it going to show you the colors now. So I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna go through them. There is loads. Right, so this is cross, thermal, party, gaming, which means that when there's music going off for the game, it will go off as well at the same time and same for movie as well fully lit so that's full brightness fully lit wave <laughs> what happened to my voice wave pulse blink ripple change colors on ripple RGB spectrum. Flow. Swell. Roundabout. Stack. Heartbeat. Firefly. Twinkle. Or uh, black hole. Shooting star. So now this is what you can do as well. You can have any colors that you like and then spin it around. So if I turn that fan around like, like so without not Breaking my fingers. So you can have any colour that you want on the front, but then on the back you can have a different colour. And also you can have a different colour in the middle as well. So if I go with just one at the moment, if I turn off the others. So I can change each colour I want to, which one is it, that's one, it's this one. So, I could have a single light, colour mode, RGB. Yes, yeah, so you can just muck about and change the ones you want. Um, I think this is, yeah, all the background is uh, like Twinkle, Flow, um, RGB Spectrum. And so it means you can mix them and then you can also change the other one as well. Which one's the middle one? So this is the front, ripple, and pulse. And then the middle one. Right, so the middle one is the, the third one, <laughs> which is more of a nightmare. So you can change the middle to whatever you want and just have these ones like on fully lit or is it fully fully lighted so you can have these all uh fully lit front to back Then you can just change whatever you want to do in the middle. Let's put this on. Or you can have them completely off. Unless you or you can have it can connected to like move your game in.
then you can just have the ones in the middle only on or vice versa now i do very much like these rgb fans to be honest with you they're the best rgb fans that you could buy on any rgb fans that are going especially performance and the way for aesthetic looks if you're into rgb then these fans are for you 100 percent if you're looking for the best then go here if you're looking for not rgbs you can still turn them off and still get great performance because it has got shock absorption uh, pads on there and it's got good bearings and got good um, performance as well for the fan flow if i remember rightly so these are 12 volts and 5 volts rated so it works with 5 volts or 12 volts so with the new motherboards they're 5 volts and the old motherboards 12 volts but you can't plug them in and sync them to msi nope you can't sync it to msi or um, gigabyte or anything like that they've got their own controller in there so it's entirely up to you um yeah so airflow is 41.13 um cfm and the noise decibels is 25.2 decibels and the hydraulic bearings that are in there as well life expectancy yeah, life expectancy is 40,000 actually it's more than 40,000 hours it's got to be no nope, it is it's 40 hours so it's got decent stuff on there um decent tech it looks really nice, looks the part. As I said before, you can turn the radiator, the fan around and then you can have the back like that. And then you can still see the colors of the rainbow if you choose to on the back, doing whatever you want it to do. Uh, so I'm filling it here at the moment. So as you can see, it's, it's pretty decent that you can do like anything you want on there. Um, I just think it's absolutely madness where they've got three different rows. So you've got the front row, the back row, and the middle row. You can change all the different colors. You can turn off the front and let's have the color in the middle. You can turn off the back and have the color in the middle. It's, it, it's up to you. Or you can have like, turn off the middle and have the front, or you can have them all on, or you can have them all in different se sequential ways that you want. Um, you can do different like colors, everything. You got performance, you got silence, and you got the software that's really manageable and easy. Talk about software, I'm not really impressed with the software that I couldn't get this to work, but this is very brand new and the software is not out, it's not coming up on the phone. But every other phone will take fan or RGB thing I've done, it's always been there and it's always worked. But this is um, six days too early. So when it's coming out six days time, Hopefully that software will be working, but the software on the desktop works perfectly. I'm talking about the software on my phone. You can download it and and, and use it on the um, other thermal take fans, but just not with these ones. So it's really annoying, but maybe because it's got a different box and it works differently. But a thermal take will have an update and sort that out anyway, they normally do. But links in the description down below where you can purchase these. These are not cheap. These, you definitely have to be rich to buy these. If you've got, if you go to buy six of these, uh, you're looking at 246 pounds at the moment. So they're 123 pounds for three fans. So that's pretty expensive. And obviously the control box. So they're probably one of the most expensive, but one of the most best. And if you want the best, then you have to pay the price. Anyway, hope you liked this video. Subscribe, share, like, and all that sort of stuff. And um, yes, these fans will probably be in a thermal take build soon because I'm waiting for some hard line water cooling to go in and then get some more RGB fans and set them all up so it looks like a rainbow's puked everywhere. It'll look really quite cool. But um, yeah, I want to test these for performance in the case and see the circumference of air going through the case and how it exhausts and how it um, regulates radiated water as well when it's uh, obviously looping around the system. Anyway, subscribe, share, a link in the description down below and I'll see you in the next one. Roger and out.